Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today in my hand I have a very special and one of the coolest scan tools I've ever used, and this is going to be a, a product from Autel, which actually delivers great products at a really great value, and this is going to be the MK808, and this is going to be able to do a lot of things that your little handheld OBD2 devices don't do. And one of them is going to be that it's going to literally cut the cord. So it has a Bluetooth OBD2 port adapter. And this is going to allow you to work from your desk or at a much more convenient place than having to be bent over in your vehicle trying to diagnose what's actually going on. So let me go ahead and get this started. This is going to be a really brief review of this. So check out the link below for the complete review as well as a special promo code in case you're interested in getting your hands on one of these. And so first off, if we look at the design of this, this is basically a tablet. So if you can operate a tablet, you can definitely operate this. And it's got a lot of great things like the stand. So if you did want to work on your vehicle, you can sometimes go right over the window area and lay that down. And then we got the rugged design here. So really great, comfortable grip. And this is almost kind of like an anti-slip grip, so you're not going to have this tablet falling on the ground while you're working on your vehicle. And then as far as the tablet, we got a lot of different screens here. So the first thing we have right here is going to be the manufacturer-specific side right here. So if we go through here, we're able to choose cars from different regions. So this is the American cars. We got European cars. We got Lamborghini, Bentley, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Jaguar. They're all going to be in here. We got some of the Asian vehicles. So we got Toyota, Mazda, Infiniti, Isuzu, right? So the list is pretty comprehensive. And we even got some of the Chinese manufacturers on here. And the second thing that we have here is going to be this right here. This is going to be one of the main interfaces. And basically we could go into diagnostics and troubleshoot the vehicle if we got an updater we got a shop manager we got a data manager we got a service uh, log here and the list goes on and on and this is going to be one of the coolest features that you definitely want to check out in the extended review that's really going to make your job really easy at, at home to troubleshoot your car and then the last icon right here at the bottom here is going to be some of the special services that this does so we got the oil reset the electronic parking brake release we got TPMS this causes a lot of problems for a lot of people so this will literally make your job pretty easy and then we got a, a battery register tool we got seats abdometers right so you literally you name it this is going to be on this list here so I'm going to go ahead and take the Bluetooth dongle here and connect that to my OBD2 port I'm going to show you guys how to do this and we're just going to go ahead and access the information on this vehicle and these OBD2 ports there are any vehicle that has 1996 and newer so it's going to cover about 95 percent of the vehicles that are on the road today so this is great now check out how easy this is to do so you're just going to grab this OBD2 port adapter you're going to plug it in to your OBD2 port on 90 percent of the vehicles they're going to be located in the driver's footwell area right here so it's going to be really convenient we got power there and in a few seconds it's going to go ahead and connect to the tablet and we're going to be able to access the information on this vehicle and the one thing you want to do to go ahead and connect this is you want to make sure your ignition is on and the way you tell your ignition is on is that your check engine light will be on but the car is not running so with my ignition on I'm going to be able to now access the information on this and I can literally pull up anything I want in regards to this vehicle so let's just do a complete scan really quick I'm gonna go on the Toyota side and now I can go to diagnosis and I can do a complete scan so you want to do this one right here and now what it's gonna do is gonna go ahead and access every one of these modules here so just access the engine the ABS the SRS system and the great thing about this is if you don't know one of these systems what they are once you actually get a fault or anything else when you access it it'll tell you what this module is in charge of doing so it makes it really user friendly even if you're not used to working around cars 
All right, so my scan is 100% done, and now I'm going to go ahead and go into, let's go into that air conditioning fault that we had right here, and hit OK. And check out how cool that is, even while you're waiting for something to complete. Your battery level is always displayed in the top right-hand corner, so you don't go ahead and discharge your battery by accident. And I'm going to be able to hit trouble codes. And now it tells me what's going on here. And what I can do now is I can do a search. So it may give me recommended fixes or I can do a clear. I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. Show you guys that this does work. So you want to turn your ignition off and then on again. And we're going to go ahead and hit yes. And there we go. And now if we go ahead and hit back, that same exact air conditioning uh, fault code that was there is gone completely. Other things I can do is I can actually do a quick erase, which erases everything that was in that system. So in case you had a dead battery, this is a lot of times what happens if you get a low battery or a dead battery it'll cause every one of these modules to act up and I've seen this happen a lot of times and people start throwing all kinds of money with it first thing you want to do whenever you get this and you have a lot of different fault codes on systems that are working fun uh, fine you want to go ahead and erase everything first alright guys there you guys go I hope you guys like the video this is the right tool if you're considering any scan tool it'll work on hybrids gasoline vehicles diesels different makes different models and i definitely give this a random fix thumbs up thank you for watching and if it's the first time you guys are visiting the channel please consider subscribing for more time and money saving videos just like this and have a great day you know if you guys have any comments hit the subscribe button and i really appreciate your continued support